updates. We start with the toll the latest COVID surge is taking on our hospitals. We now know at least one hospital is reporting it has zero ICU beds available for new patients. Others are closely monitoring their own capacity and staffing. Max Rodriguez begins their coverage. This triage tent behind me is a visual representation of hospitals running out of space amid an influx of COVID patients. One hospital on the Big Island says a large accident is a nightmare scenario as there would not be enough beds or staff to treat them. The number of hospitalized COVID patients on the Big Island is on the rise. Another surge of patients could push hospitals to the limit. Just yesterday when I was speaking to the house supervisor, she said that we are in an awful situation. If there is a big car accident and it brings in multiple patients, we will have a very difficult time to care for these patients because we had no ICU beds open. Kona Community Hospital just had one ICU bed open at its facility over the weekend. It's the most since the onset of the pandemic. We didn't have the influx of patients that we're having now. Um, it's almost as though we spent the last year and a half practicing for what we're experiencing right now. Neighbor Island hospitals rely on larger hospitals on Oahu to treat its most critical patients. But now, even Queen's Medical Center has all of its 60 ICU beds in use. The hospital says that number changes constantly, and it still has the capacity to move patients to other facilities if needed. Patients that they ordinarily would transfer to us, we're trying to see if they could man medically manage them um, safely at their own hospitals. It's a, it's a very delicate balancing act right now. But at last, some relief. The first wave of specialty nurses and respiratory therapists arriving on the Big Island. Max Rodriguez, KH1 News, working for Hawaii.